the village of Pienemünde sits on the Baltic Sea coast in northern Germany. Known in the Second World War as the place that developed the fearsome V2 rocket, today it is a prime target for Germany's right-wing alternative for Germany, or AFD, party. Half of its population of 250 people voted for them in recent regional elections. In summer, tourism props up the local economy, but the opportunities for many can be bleak. I'm 30 years old. I grew up here watching my school friends move away because there are no jobs, no support for young people or for families with children. The traditional political parties don't support us and do nothing. AFD candidate Life Eric Holm is running a campaign based on these concerns. The former radio host is crisscrossing the region, Chancellor Angela Merkel's traditional stronghold, ahead of national elections on September 24th. His party rejects immigration and Islam, and he's very critical of Merkel's open door policy welcoming refugees. We see the fancy buildings from Berlin, Neukölln. We see images from Berlin or Hamburg. There, increasingly, you find parallel communities. We don't want that. But we notice the same here. It's happening more. The image of the region has already changed. We see more and more veils and fights. Pina Munda played a crucial role in the course of World War II. Now a museum, this was once a factory where Nazi engineers developed the V-2, the world's first ever cruise missile. It may now play a pivotal role in the rise of the AFD. Now polling at around 5 to 10 percent, they're on course to become the first hard-right nationalist party to enter Germany's parliament since the Second World War.